If you weren't lucky enough to have attended the recent live aquascaping demonstration in our Tong store, don't despair. Here's a summary of all the key parts of the process so you can enjoy an aquascaping masterclass from the comfort of your own home, no matter where you are in your path through Iwagumi layouts. This style of layout was developed decades ago by Japanese aquascaping legend Takashi Amano, a style that literally translated means rock formation. So as you'd expect, the main focal point of the aquascaping is going to be the rocks. But there are three species of plants involved here too. The tank used here was an Aquamarin Planter 900, 216 litres and measuring 90 by 50 by 48 centimetres. It was kitted out with an Oasa Biomaster Thermo 600 filter, Aqua L Ultra Slim LED lights and CO2 dosing due to the fact they'll be carpet plants, although we'd recommend CO2 in any tank where plants are a focus. So, some top tips for this aquascaping style. Use the height of the substrate to create a perception of depth from front to back. Next, you'll be adding the rocks, so the substrate will determine how high the rocks sit. You can position them higher in the tank if you want them to have a more imposing presence, and up to 90% of the way to the top of the tank. A key design feature here is to avoid placing things centrally. Keep things uneven and non-symmetrical for a more natural look. In order to promote a lack of symmetry, the Iwagumi style always aims to have an odd number of stones. Remember the rule of thirds. The most pleasing layout will have the main points of focus occupying a space along these lines and intersections. Now on to the hardscaping. Several layers of substrate are required for best results. First, add a bag JBL Volcano Mineral. It stops mixing and it's good for flow and bacteria growth but since it's unsightly, it should be kept around 1-2cm to two centimeters away from the glass. At this stage, you can add Colombo Nutri-Base Substrate for nutrients. It's not required, but it is helpful. Next, add Colombo Flora Base Pro for your plants to get their roots into and keep them healthy. But there's no need to cap this with sand or gravel, as it won't foul the water. It also reduces and stabilises pH, which is of course something to keep in mind when choosing your fish. You'll then need at least 5cm of soil for planting. Now it's time to add the rocks. Here we use Seriu stone, which is very popular for hardscaping, but it's important to remember that as it will leach carbonates into the water, it will have an impact on water hardness. You can then use smaller stones to stabilise the main rocks. Aim to keep them away from the glass. This is most important at the front as you don't want them to be restricting your view into the tank. Glue them in place using cyanoacrylate superglue and toilet paper. Once they're set, give them a wiggle test to ensure they won't move. Now you're ready for the planting. Plant choices are especially important in this style. These species are Eleocaris parvula, Eleocaris acicularis and Cyperus helferi. They should be planted into wet soil though this is easier to do before filling the tank, so you can just use a spray bottle for this. It's easiest to plant using tweezers, as these will improve accuracy and allow you to pass through the substrate with less disruption. To create a visually effective display, taller plants should be put towards the back, shorter ones towards the front. Once the aquascaping is done, of course you'll need to fill the tank with water. It's best to do this using a cup or a kitchen roll tube in order to avoid disturbing anything with the impact of the water. Maintenance is always important, but especially so to keep this kind of setup looking its best. Perform a water change daily for the first week, every other day for the second week, every third day for the third week, twice in the fourth week, twice in the fifth week, and from there on it's just a weekly water change. We recommend keeping this tank at 23 degrees to allow these plant species to thrive. CO2 should be scheduled for an hour before the lights go on, but they should both be scheduled to go off at the same time. Good fish choices here would be neon tetras, ottos and shrimps. All of them are adaptable, but they prefer soft water. Hopefully this should help you on your way to creating a truly spectacular tank. But if you do need any further help with this, or with any other styles of aquascaping, then feel free to call into your local Maidenhead Aquatics store, where our friendly and knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you. For your closest store, just check our store finder on fishkeeper.co.uk or follow the link in the description. Happy aquascaping.